I'm gonna ask you on the record, Ray Lister or Olistein? Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, the shipping. <laughs> I'm staying out of it. <laughs> so, Iris is the only character now who does not know Barry is the Flash. How does that feel? It feels just how you would think it would feel. <laughs> It's very isolating, and I feel that even on, on set when we're, we're shooting those scenes, it feels very isolating to be the only character on the show who has no idea that Barry Allen is the Flash. Um, but I think it sets Iris up to be very frustrated and devastated when she does find out. I think she earns a, a moment to be very angry with her father and with Barry for lying to her. And so when that happens, I think it'll, it'll make for a great release for her to kind of expel all of that on her father and, and Barry. And everyone else has been lying to her. Which is everybody in Central City. Everyone knows. Everyone. The postman. Is she gonna hold it against her boyfriend? Um I mean that's a that's a good question. I think I think she'll hold it a, a little against everyone. I mean these are especially the men, every she trusts them. She trusts everything that they tell her and so I think she's gonna feel almost like a fool for believing them. So she doesn't trust any of them now, who is she gonna <clears throat> Well, she trusts them now. Mm -hmm. I mean, but when she finds them. Well, I mean, we'll see. Yeah. No. Well, speaking of things that people are lying to her about, is she going to still try to find out what's up with Mason Bridges' disappearance? Yes. I think even more so she's going to just put two and two together that something is weird with Wells and Star Labs and that maybe they have something to do with that. Um, um, so she's going to continue to investigate that area, that group of people, um, and she'll find her way into Star Labs in doing so. Yeah. How wary is she of all the metahumans that kind of come into her city? How wary is she? Well, not wary, but aware. Aware. I mean, she's she's aware to some degree. There was Gerda, right? She was, you know, blogging about Firestorm. She had to blog about some of the metahumans. So she's aware. She's very aware that weird things are happening in Central City. I don't think she's aware that it's happening exponentially, that there's tons of metahumans that have been affected by this particle accelerator. I think once she kind of um, figures out what's going on at Star Labs and that Star Labs had something to do with the particle, particle accelerator exploding, I think she'll be kind of caught up, like Barry and, and Caitlin and Cisco, that things are really bad in Central City. And it's going to take a team of people to fight these metahumans. Well, since she knows there's a flash out there, you think her reporter instincts would just drive her to find out there's got to be more than just him and her and the others. Maybe there's now like a, I don't know, contagion or something. Yeah, I mean, she's been pushing to kind of write about the Flash at the paper, right? But, you know, her bosses want her to, yeah, I mean, there's other things that she's interested in, you know? She doesn't want to just be known as the Flash girl. Um, I think it's important for her to kind of find her own independence at work and be valued other than like who she knows, and especially the men that she knows. She's always kind of being, you know, recognized for her relationships to men, and I think she wants to kind of stand on her own. That's good. <laughs> like, is she going to be looking for like more female bonding, maybe like Linda Park? I mean, they work together. Maybe she needs to find somebody to kind of... I agree with you. I think Iris needs a friend, and I think she needs a girlfriend. Someone to go get mimosas with or something and talk about <laughs> how crazy the men are in her life. Um, will we get there? I don't know. Um, I don't think that will happen this season, um, but hopefully in the seasons to come, I, I think Iris needs kind of a sounding board. She's kind of, like I said, I feel like she's very isolated, and I think that works for now because it's going to give her ammunition to kind of, you know, go off on Barry and, and Joe, but I think eventually she needs a friend. And she had Barry for a while, but yeah. Barry becomes one of the issues. It's like, who does, she who does she turn to? And I think she does feel very isolated because Barry is kind of not around anymore. He's always at Star Labs, and, and Joe is always with Barry, and, and Eddie's off working. And she, you see her always showing up at the precinct. You know, she's always like showing up places where other people are to kind of have these conversations. Um, so yeah, she needs a, a friend, I think, does or something. Suspicious about like. My hair is any of that going on. <laughs> um, uh, you know what's going on with Joan Barry, or you know. Yeah, I mean, she's always been a little suspicious, and I think she'll be suspicious of Eddie. You'll see that in episode 18 that he's acting a little weird, and she even says to him, I think there's a quote she says about like, "Are you sure you're not working with the Flash?" <laughs> she's starting to 
put two and two together that, you know, he's solving crimes a little too quickly and she's just kind of, you know, wondering if he knows the Flash, if he's working with them and if he knows she if he knows who he is. Um, so yeah, she's always kind of while we see her kind of say, yes, everything's fine, and I, I, I'm believing everything you're telling me, I think Iris is always in the back of her mind curious and still questioning if what people are telling her is the truth. Have you thought about the implications of what might happen if Barry goes back in time and saves his mother and what that might mean for Iris? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I think I think you're onto something. <laughs> she won't feel that like the brother sister connection anymore. <laughs> I mean, I think it's a great question. I think it's something that would be very interesting to um, to explore on our show. Is if Barry goes back in time to see his mother, how does that change his relationship with not just me but with Joe and our family unit? I mean, what happened to his mother forced Barry to come live with us and essentially created the relationships that we have now and that we're seeing on screen. So if he goes back to save his mother, is that erased? Um, and is Barry willing to give that up for his mother to save her? So we'll see. And also to get his father out of jail. Would he be willing to, to get his father out of jail and change, you know, the time continuum? forever. Well, on that same note, can you talk about that scene that you guys filmed where she found out that he is the Flash? Oh, so good. Like, had you been waiting for 15 weeks for that? Oh my god. Well, I was at a, a screening for it for some press, and I hadn't seen the episode. I just remembered shooting it, and it was better than I remembered shooting it. Just the whole episode was amazing and it was one of those moments I turned to Tom and, and Andrew who were there and I'm just like this is one of the best episodes on TV and I'm not just saying that because I'm on the show like it was really a great great episode um, it was awesome to shoot that I think it was satisfying for, for me as Iris I think it was satisfying for the fans who wanted to finally see that moment I think people just wanted Iris to finally answer Barry I, I know he asked the question in, in episode 9 he kind of confessed his love and we never really saw Iris deal with it until episode 15 so it was really satisfying, I think, to, to finally get there. And then to have it reversed. Do you think um, Iris is in denial or oblivious or um, like, 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 about him being the flash or the love? Feelings. I don't think she is anymore now that he's told her. But I think it's done nothing but cause problems for her in terms of, you know, she's not ready to deal with having feelings for Barry. Um, she's in a relationship with Eddie, and he's a wonderful man. You know, he's done nothing wrong to her, he doesn't beat her, he actually treats her very well, and he's loving, and so she can't just, you know, dump him and run off with Barry, I think. That relationship needs to end well, and that will potentially, you know, open her up to, to dealing with her feelings for Barry. I think right now, she just cannot. She can't deal with the potential that she has these feelings for Barry. Which of the scripts, when you open up your script, which of the scripts of this whole season has excited you the most or surprised you the most? Fifteen was one of those moments where I just like threw it across the room and I was like, what? Um, there's another one more recently, too. I feel like it was... 21? 20 or 21? The last just three episodes are all great. They're all kind of um, exciting. And we kind of end with a really big bang. 23, of course, is, is great. We deal with a lot of the issues that I think fans have been waiting to be answered in 23. It's been implied that episode, I think, 20 or 21 revisits that timeline from number 15. Does that mean we might see some more West Allen? The timeline for 15, it's so hard to remember because we're shooting 23, so to go back to 20, like... The timeline in which Barry told Iris... I will tell you this, we don't revisit that scene. Okay. So anything else I have forgotten about? <laughs> 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 um, but yeah. Okay. Yeah.